You look like a Disney porno knockoff of the Little Spur Maid. The I do the first date starter kit. You look like a sexy cold sore. What does that even mean? Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Right, today we are doing another Reddit roast me video. I find these videos absolutely hilarious to film, hence why I think this is like the third one that I've done. It actually could be the fourth, I'm not entirely sure. But these are really funny. I think it's hilarious to think about the assumptions that people make of someone upon just a picture. So we're just gonna get straight into it and see what people have said. Okay, there are 195 comments under this. I did post this like months ago. I plan on filming this video ages ago, but it just slipped my mind to be quite honest. So I, I posted this ages ago. So hopefully it's given time for like the best comments to be the most upvoted. So hopefully we'll get the best comments first. Okay, <laughs> she has stupid little tattoos and red hair. Classic zero personality overcompensation disorder. I mean, can I disagree? Not really. The next comment is, to be fair, it's the hottest thing on here. Love being called an it. Great. <laughs> Probably one of those weird adults that loves Disney. I bet she wears Mickey ears in public even when she's not at the park. Nope. <laughs> in nature, toxicity is represented by bright colors. Brighter colors mean more toxicity. Well. <laughs> Do you use a putty knife to scrape off all that makeup at night? Your poor, poor pillowcases, honestly, you're so right. You can't see it right now because of this, but this pillow that's furthest away is like pink right now. So, fully, I fully agree. Ah. Your infected dick will be the same shade of red if you don't double bag it. <laughs> okay. Wendy be like, Ronald McDonald is my baby daddy. Ronald and Wendy's love child. Ah, uh, you look like a sexy cold sore. What does that even mean? You make the same dumb fish face in all your photos from this one and the collage behind you. Also, nothing screams, please give me attention, daddy, like wildly colored hair. <laughs> oh, God. And if you look over here, you'll see what happened to Lava Girl after Shark Boy left and she got corrupted and turned to alcoholism and <laughs> drugs. Oh, I fucking love that film as well. I, honestly, I'll take it. Like, <laughs> I don't really mind. Oh, God. No wonder why you're a single mother. Are Freddy and Shaggy waiting in the van for you? Bitch, are you literally just calling me Daphne? It, have it time a roast? I, I'm sorry. No, that is a compliment in my book. <laughs> and here we have Ugly Betty, debuting our Skittles makeup color palette. Uh, at least your hair distracts people away from looking at your face. Wonderful. When your hair color is the most interesting thing about you? I'm not gonna disagree, like I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you look like a Ronald McDonald drag queen, sure. Crazy eyes are a real thing. Flaming hot cheetos called and want their seasoning back. Cool. I could just see it now. Black ripped up skinny jeans and some beat up pair of black vans, size six, a shitty band shirt, or some dumb horror movie toxic ex-boyfriend slash baby daddy who she hooks up with even though she has a boyfriend. Oh my god, too much of that was real. Not the last bit. Just to be clear, not the last bit. But um Am I that readable? Black ripped up skinny jeans, yup. Pair of, um, old pair of black vans, don't really wear vans anymore, but I used to, size six, yes. Shitty band shirt, yeah, or some dumb horror movie, yeah. Toxic gay boyfriend, you. Uh, but don't cheat on people, that's bad. <laughs> Last time I saw that much makeup on a redhead was the dead hooker next to the dumpsters behind my apartment building. And to be honest, after three days of late, su of late summer heat, she still looked more fuckable than you do right now. I don't know if I can leave that in. Oh my god. <laughs> um. Anyway, moving on. Oh look at me, I'm so grown up with my Kool-Aid dyed hair, piercings, tattoos, and 83 pounds of makeup. I'm so totally independent and non-conformist, I don't need anyone to tell me how to live life, even if I am doing it from mommy and daddy's house, now that I've flunked out of liberal arts school they were paying for it and don't have a job. Wow. Uh, you look like you're trying to break the Guinness World Record for the most colors on your face. Honestly, I mean, <laughs> sure, why not? I looked at your post from seven months ago. You looked better back then. Judging by the rapid deterioration, you should do a repost every seven months and call it the tragic spiral downward. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna disagree. <laughs> your two black eyes makes me believe you talk back a lot and telling you once isn't enough. 
Moving on. The I do anal on the first date starter kit. <laughs> oh my god. A photo of every girl she turned lesbian at her vagina victory wall. <laughs> yeah, these photos in the background here were in the back of this photo that I posted, so um... <laughs> Girl, you look like the Mona Lisa, not because you're pretty, but because of all that paint on your face. Okay, we need something a bit more original now. The makeup ones are boring. Your wall has more photos than you got ex-boyfriends. Of course it fucking does! You think I've got more ex-boyfriends than photos are up there? Are you taking the piss? Oh my god. It's like Pennywise was crossbred with a guinea pig. <laughs> okay. Clicking on your profile popped up not safe for work with only this rose photo on there. So that says a lot about your face. Is that a joke? Does it actually? <laughs> okay, sure. You look like a Disney porno knockoff of the little sperm maid. Oh my god. I like that, to be fair, that was different. That was different. I quite like that. I don't know. People on here are brutal about your looks. You definitely have a face for anal. Fucking hell. Whatever you do, don't jump into a river or, or into an ocean and drown yourself. There's already enough plastic in those things. Cool. <clears throat> the BDSM porn star that always has more dislikes than likes. I called Scarlett Johansson. She wants her look back now. She's threatening to sue. How is that an insult? How? How? Is that an insult? This happened in the last one as well. The people compare me to Little Mermaid and Scarlett Johansson. I'm not being funny. How is that an insult? That is a fucking compliment. <laughs> what the fuck? Enjoy your carousel of mood stabilizers and mental health professionals. <laughs> oh fuck. Does my face really give all that off? Jeez. Tattoos and looks specifically made to find a bad boy and then asking yourself where all the good boys went. Oh, who hurt you, my friend? Are those all the women you've trafficked? Posing as a counsellor for lonely migrants was a solid gold idea. People are a lot more fucked up on this one than they were on the other ones. I feel like before it was just like, ha, you're ugly. This is like, you know this chick has a tit tattoo and has slept with at least three of her friend's dads. <laughs> Mate, I only got three friends. That would have really fucked up my, uh, my relationships. Stereotypically feminist. Yes, I am, bitch. <laughs> I'm glad it shows. Although, hilariously, being a feminist literally just means you believe in equal rights, so. <laughs> but whatever. I would do my worst, but it looks like numerous ex-boyfriends have already done theirs. I mean, fair. <laughs> Thinks college should be free and that Trump is literally Hitler. I mean. If teeth blowjobs were a person. <laughs> Okay, let's leave it there. What do I say? Do you know what? I find these so funny because I think it is just hilarious to see what people can come up with when they just look at your face. I do just get like a lot of the, oh, you wear so much makeup. Oh, you got shitty red hair. Uh, you look like Daphne, Scarlett Johansson, or who was the other one? Ariel, Little Mermaid. I'm like, one, not an insult. Two, for the other ones, the makeup shit. I need a little bit more originality. You know, come up with something funny. But that'll be it for me today because I actually think if I scroll anymore, I'm just gonna be reading the same shit over and over again. So yeah, uh, if you wanna see anything else like this in the future, I don't really know what else I could do bar this, but you know, if you do, let me know. All my like social media handles and stuff will be on screen and links in the description and all that stuff. And yeah, I will see you in my next one.